Oh, yeah, that's right, y'all. It is the morning shift, CHUO 89.1 FM. I go by the name of your favorite light skin, holding it down for the morning shift crew. Your source for hip hop and RB in the morning, and the number one hip hop and RB show in the Ottawa Gatineau area. And at this part of the show, we get to chop it up with somebody that's really representing in the community in a major way. And our next guest is an award winning activist and filmmaker from Toronto's Jane Finch area. And in 2004, he created janefinch.com to change negative stereotypes about his community. And within a short period, his grassroots project became a national success story. This morning on The Morning Shift, we have the one and only Paul Nguyen. Welcome to The Morning Shift, sir. Hi, good morning. How's it going? Everything is good, man. So let's, you know, let's get into it. Let's talk about janefinch.com. Now, of course, you know, you did this to change the negative stereotypes about your community. What were some of those negative stereotypes? Well, Jane Finch is an intersection uh, north of Toronto. And, uh, you know, it's a kind of an infamous community because uh, we've had a lot of issues with, you know, gun violence and gang and the poverty issues so we've always been making the headlines for decades and decades and whenever people hear the words Jane and Finch they think oh something something's wrong with this this area so uh you know growing up in this community I want to change those views and I made the website now what were some of the struggles that you faced in you know in the beginning of just getting to creating it well uh you know back then so people have to understand in 2004 the internet is a different universe and uh, there's no uh uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, it, you know, internet was mostly a one-way conversation. So just getting stuff up there and getting people to hear about it was a, a totally different beast. And uh, that was a big challenge. I mean, we used to have to put, uh, you know, flyers at the bus stop to tell people to go to the website. Now, you know, with, with the grassroots project becoming a national success story, I'm assuming, and maybe I'm wrong, but there has to be, you know, some people that were not looking at it as, you know, a good thing. Was there ever any hate for the website? Oh, for sure. You know, we've had our, uh, some critics and detractors, and uh, some of them were actively, you know, trying to come out and, you know, kind of sabotage us in a way or get us shut down. I think because, uh, you know, people, some people don't really understand uh, some of the hip hop uh, content on the website or the rap music. Um, so usually that gets vilified and it's easy to really kind of point out that that is a scapegoat. But, uh, you know, the music and the videos are actually just stories from the street. And we have street guys, you know, uh, expressing themselves. And I felt it was very important to kind of get these stories out there and not just have, you know, the mainstream narrative, but also have, you know, people in the community on the ground telling their own stories. And how do you help paint the story on the website? What's some of the content that people can check out? Well, you know, we have art, we have uh, uh, rap videos, we have music, we have articles, we have all sorts of stuff. It's heavily, you know, uh, you know, uh, hip hop based and rap based. And I think that was just the popular art form at the time. And, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of authentic stories coming from the community. So a lot of the guys from our, our community tell their stories through rap and hip hop. And the website is really well put together. You know, I'm currently on it right now as we're talking and, you know, just taking a look at it. It's, it's really well published. Can understand, you know, what story you're about to get into or check out. But how do you come across these stories? Well, you know, I'm just a guy still walking around the streets of Jane and Finch and, uh, you know, either I, I find stories myself or I meet people through through my uh, travels or people hear about us and they would contact me and they say, hey, I got uh, something I want to get off my chest. I want to share. There's an issue that I want to talk about. And then, uh, you know, I'm like, hey, tell me about it. And then uh, we'll get the story out there. We have the one and only Paul Nguyen. He's an award winning activist and filmmaker from Toronto's Jane and Finch area. He's got an amazing website, janefinch.com. Make sure to go check that out. It's J A N E dash. F-I-N-C-H dot com. And we got some records here that you want to play here this morning on The Morning Shift, Paul. Let's get into the first one here, Blackest Ninja. The track is called What's My Name. Why did you want to hear this one? Well, Blackest is a guy that actually reached out to me. You know what? We had a rap video that went viral back in the day. And he's a guy from James Finch, you know, and he reached out to me. And, and I really enjoyed his music because it was, uh, really works on a conscious level. It's the first time I heard about something called conscious rap. And his lyrics are really meaningful and profound, and they're really commenting on the social conditions in the community. So uh, I thought, wow, this is a, one of the great songs that has to be featured. And we're going to get into that song right now here on The Morning Shift, CHUO 89.1 FM.